that's basically how we should do everything in our lives. 100%, like when you're making food, like put your best foot forth, like make sure it's your best. If not, don't do it at all, you know? If it's not your best work, why are you doing it? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Flame Speaks, and this is Fallen speaking. Um, so like today's hair day, so I gotta get this done early in the morning. But besides that, I didn't mention last week about like what we also had to do. Besides writing our first draft for the um, 10 page script, um, we also had to do peer reviews of our peer scripts. And uh, I just wanna say, like, I don't wanna sound like an a-hole, but I'm a very blunt person. Um, I'm not saying that my work was perfect because I know I had mistakes that I probably still could not come across, um, probably with like punctuation. Um, but the amount of mistakes that I found from two of the peers that I had to do the reviews for was astounding. I'm just like floored. Like how many, like we had about like this probably like officially, this is like the second screenwriting class, but we had two other classes where we added scripts into where they were also reviewed. So I would say this is like our third or fourth class. Um, connected to screenwriting and I'm just absolutely floored about like how many rules have been ignored how the instructions were not followed and then I'm like are we are we really seniors are we in the same class I want to know how are we all seniors and we're all in the same degree can someone ask this question for me can someone answer it for me or some like it didn't make it made absolutely no sense to me. Um, I know that our work was not gonna be perfect because we're still beginners in this, but I'm like, if you really want to do something, then you have to try. And it's not that they didn't try, it just feels like they didn't care. And that made me more upset. Like, if you don't care about your script, I don't care about yours. Cause it makes like, for me, I like, sometimes I, I guess you could say like, I'm competitive when it comes to grades and excelling like at work um i used to be very competitive to have my stats up but like now it's like it's like whatever like i can do bare minimum and still have my stats up um at school i try my best to pass i want a's and b's don't, don't hit me with that c and if i have that c just know that i'm upset about it you know um i always been wanting to have like good grades and excelling and trying my best and the fact that I was reviewing those scripts and it wasn't made me more upset because like we we're basically like we're basically getting a mortgage with our student loans the amount in our student loans is like a mortgage you might as well put your money worth it like come on and then I was like are we reading the same books did we have the same professors Cause the professors have the same classes every month. Like, even if there's a substitute professor pulling in for that class, the rules stay the same most of the time. Like, they stay the same. Like, the screenwriter's Bible did not change. They gave us all the same books. Like, I'm just trying to, and what made it even worse was I was like, how are you gonna give me advice when I, I, I had to make so many of your errors, so many things that you needed to fix and like, I was like, how are you gonna give me advice? Like based on the amount of mistakes I saw in those scripts, I was like, I can't take your advice. You can't help me. And then um, yesterday was Monday. I finally checked to see because like the peer reviews were due like Sunday, but I turned that in like early on Sunday. So I didn't go back to check until yesterday. And I pull up one of the peer reviews cause only one submitted on time. And um, I was getting bad advice. How you gonna tell me to write it this way and then put like, and write it this way into the script? Like that's not what we're supposed to do. Like that's not following the rules. Like, like, and then I guess he was upset. It was a he, well, they were both he's. I guess he was upset. Um, so he tried to tell me to read the screenwriter's Bible because I, I actually did mention a couple times, he needs to read it. And I also put in what pages you needed to go to to fix that because I was like if you because that bible that book is lengthy and maybe you can get lost you know um but I was like wow he's giving me advice and it's the wrong advice and I was like you know what I can't even take your advice with a grand so I'm just waiting for the professors at this point 
So yeah, I'm um, sorry about my little tangent on this. I just was absolutely floored since Saturday night about this. Cause when she put in that it would take us eight hours to do it, I was like two peer reviews. Like you read a script in like 20, 30 minutes. It, like 30 minutes tops if you're like a slow reader. Like it's supposed to be like, you know, 10 minutes is, it's supposed to be like, you know, it's 10 pages, 10 minutes. I was like, it should take just 30 minutes. The lies I told myself. One script took almost three hours. And the second one, um, I did not finish Saturday night. I finished it Sunday. And then I had to go, I went over both of them twice to make sure like I wasn't making any spelling mistakes. And I just like, I just, I'm absolutely for it. Like how are we in the same class? How are we all seniors? What classes did you take? Cause I don't understand why you're making beginners mistakes like this. And the thing is like, yeah, we're all beginners in screenwriting. But not like we should we should have improved there's supposed to be a higher level to writing now based on all the classes that we had taken to get this far you know and on top of that it's like where we came to the school to be professionals to be professional writers like we're all in the same major here um do your best 100 percent. i mean but not everyone has the same drive as me not everyone thinks the same way as me it's just i was absolutely upset and I was shocked because I was expecting like small errors here and there, not like every single page, multiple errors. And, um, you know, errors such as like spelling, punctuation, um, adding in adverbs, writing in past tense, um, not following the rules for screenwriting and um, lack of clarity, um, character arcs not propelling more forward, um, the reader not the reader not actually feeling for the protagonist because where's the logic um i'm not saying that for both scripts but like i read two of them but yeah and then i read it with my cousin too like i was like if i'm gonna edit this you gotta be like listening in like let's like listen together on what my peers are writing and like you'll like let me know if you, what you think about the story too i was like two like double the ears listening like you know but like she was absolutely for it and she stopped halfway um for the second script and she just left me so yeah that's how that went and um yeah that's just all i had to say based on my tangent but like as writers or like any um career that you're trying to um tone in on your craft um you have to be passionate about it there are days where you you know like writers get writer's block and stuff or sometimes you may overread it too fast but you need to proofread like, you need to go over your work. You need to make sure it's the best work. Like, even if you still end up making mistakes, you know you did your 100%. You did your all into it. And that's basically how we should do everything in our lives. 100%. Like, when you're making food, like, put your best foot forth. Like, make sure it's your best. If not, don't do it at all, you know? If it's not your best work, why are you doing it, you know? And, um, yeah, I was just, I was highly upset and... Now I'm just disappointed. Anyways, um, I should be coming out with another video this week for week four about um, writing a short script. So we'll see how that goes. And we also have to do peer reviews for the second draft. So hopefully I have a better experience. Hopefully they actually, like I gave some advice on like some episodes that you need to watch on certain shows to get the vibe of what your character is supposed to be. Like look at the behaviors, the mannerisms, you know. And I also added a link at one point of all the things that I was avoiding to write so you can avoid to write as well. Mind you, the professor gave me that link and I used it. Um, <laughs> just thank you for watching. <laughs>